that it's all concerned about itself and politics and not concerned about the national interest. This morning I attempted to move in the parliament a debate uh, which would see those organisations where volunteers spent hundreds of hours putting in applications in good faith, thinking that there was a level playing field, thinking that there was a fair umpire and that umpire was called Sports Australia under the legislation in which this $100 million was allocated and finding out something very different. Finding out that this was a match that was fixed from the beginning. Match fixing that went to not just Bridget McKenzie who's been thrown under the bus but had the Prime Minister's office staff sitting in Bridget McKenzie's office. They had emails that clearly link the Prime Minister's office to the decisions uh, asking that uh, grants be given to clubs that didn't uh, get as high a score as those clubs which received funding. I mean, here you have quite a farce. You have uh, the Prime Minister saying that uh, it was all about women's change rooms, but you have... Uh, a club in Adelaide, the Kingston uh, Club, the, in the Electorate of Kingston, South Adelaide Football Club, having their application for female change rooms rejected at the same time as the Collegians Rugby Union Football Club in the Electorate of Sturt. Get funding for female change rooms. Only problem is they don't have any female players. They don't have any female teams. This is a farce. You have the Prime Minister's own electorate having a football club uh, tell everyone that they'd received money months before it was allocated. You have uh, the struggling Mossman Rowers Club. I mean, they could have collected the money on a Sunday afternoon by putting the hat around. But there you have $500,000 because Tony Abbott was in trouble. And at the same time, struggling clubs that rely upon volunteers ripped off. That's why we moved a proposition on the floor of the parliament calling upon the government to fund those clubs that were approved by Sports Australia and were knocked off in favour of this industrial size rort. The fact is that uh, there needs to be a full and transparent inquiry into this. We need the lists, uh, some of which have been provided to the ABC with colour coded uh, information there uh, showing the politicisation of this program. And uh, the Prime Minister has allegedly got rid of Bridget McKenzie uh, because of a failure to declare uh, appropriate interests at the same time as Angus Taylor is still sitting on the front bench and he'll be there in question time today. What a farce. This is a complete rot. It needs exposure because it's taxpayers' funds, not Liberal and National Party funds that have been used here.